Look at this undercover video that we shot to expose the cozy relationship between lobbyists and state attorneys general, seen here enjoying a special getaway. Lobbyists are making huge donations to groups that help get officials elected. For their money, they get access to top law enforcement officers, only expanding what some call the swamp. Here's Nancy Cordes with a CBS News investigation. Holding public office has its perks. On Kiowa Island in South Carolina, we spotted Republican State Attorneys General taking the kind of luxury trip most Americans can't afford. $500 rounds of golf, oceanfront receptions, and yoga on the beach, all courtesy of corporate donors. I am Chris Carr, and I am the Attorney General from the state of Georgia. This getaway and others like it are organized by RAGA, the Republican Attorneys General Association. To attend, lobbyists and corporate guests fork over $125,000. $50,000 gets them one-on-one -on -one issue briefings with state AGs. God bless America. God bless each and every one of you. At Kiowa, we saw at least nine state AGs rubbing shoulders with representatives from Coke Industries, Big Tobacco, Payday Lenders, and the NRA. The dress code? Resort casual. Selling access to such events has helped Raga raise more than $20 million in the last 18 months. CBS News reviewed 88 donations over $50,000 and found more than half of the donors had matters under consideration by a state attorney general or had recently settled. Others needed help from the AG community. In 2016, casino magnate Sheldon Adelson gave Raga $250,000. Two months later, 10 Republican AGs wrote this letter to the Trump administration calling for a federal ban on online gambling. Adelson's biggest competition. The cost of a getaway at a swanky golf resort like this one in Pinehurst, North Carolina, about $4,000 per attorney general. But they don't have to pay a penny. It's considered a gift. We're way outgunned. You know, we, we know that. We, we met Bill Newton at a very different kind of conference for state-based consumer advocates in the basement of a D.C. hotel. Newton doesn't have corporate cash. Here's what happens when he wants to meet with his state AG, Florida's Pam Bondi. Your only option is to fill out a form on the website and click submit, see if that happens, anything happens. It's not just the Republicans. Democratic AGs are courted by trial lawyers and lobbyists too at more modest receptions like this one in Washington, D.C. Marquette University's Paul Nolette. They're not just giving money out of charity, they're expecting something out of this. Both sides dispute that. Raga tells CBS News it, quote, has been successful in supporting candidates that will defend the rule of law. Republican attorneys general have this mindset, and that's what drives their actions. Nothing else. Nancy's here with us now. So here's what's interesting. I mean, we think of lobbyists courting politicians, not necessarily law enforcement. Well, exactly. But there has been this growing recognition, Jeff, that these AGs do a lot more than just decide who to prosecute and who to ignore. They can have a big influence on policy at the state level and if they band together at the federal level. And of course, there are limits on how much these companies can give an individual politician, but there's no limit on how much they can give an association like Raga. And depending on the state, some of these AGs don't even have to report the fancy trips or how much they cost. An eye-opening report. We thank you and producer Laura Strickler for that, Nancy. Thanks.